Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your November Love Tower reading. So Sagittarius, so we're just going to take it as it comes and we're going to look at whatever comes out for you, whatever you need to know, either regarding your love situation or love life. And we're just going to see what's going on. All right, so we have the Chakra Wisdom Oracle here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck, see what's going on, and then we'll jump to your reading. But welcome in, Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. One more message for November Love Tarot reading. What do we need to know? All right. Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. We have presence, awareness, attention, reality, connection. We have 44. Four, you wouldn't reduce that, is a very stable, grounded energy. Throat chakra, 29, 11, life path, soul path energy. Ones are about new beginnings, and we have the throat chakra. So let's lay these down. We'll see what's going on. Connection, and we have universal oneness, love, interconnection, support. We have 26, 8. Putting in the work, travel, action, communication, infinity. And we have desires, goals, passion, craving, fulfillment, 12, which is three, growth and expansion. Well, it looks like here, Sagittarius, you know, third chakra is about speaking with truth, clarity, communication um, as well. Somebody here, you know, and this could be happening like right now because we do have presence here. This person, somebody here being in the present, here, now, in the moment, wanting to communicate with the throat chakra. There's definitely a desire there, and there is a connection. So even if you've been separated or <clears throat> whatever the case may be, whether <clears throat> separated, missed opportunity, whatever, there's a desire in the connection to speak the truth in the here and now. And what did this say here? Awareness, attention, reality, connection. We have connection twice here. So there's no doubting the heart connection. This green represents the heart chakra. We have the sacral chakra, throat chakra, and I believe the third eye chakra. So yeah, this person, somebody here is desiring to communicate and connect big time. We also have love, support, and interconnection. Definitely could have been a spiritual connection as well over space and time if there's been separation, whatever the case may be. All right, Sag, so let's see what's going on with you. November, love, tower reading. Can you believe we're in November? Going into November already. Or Sagittarius, what do we need to know? Let's see. Sagittarius, let's see what we got for you. November, love, tower reading for Sagittarius. Let's see. Queen of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands reversed, which is actually a good energy. Nine of Cups reversed. Oh, you've got a lot of reversals here. Five of Wands. The Fool. And the Nine of Wands. So it does look like here somebody was struggling, whether it was over the connection with you or something else in life. Definitely there's conflict and struggle here. Somebody maybe not going through a happy time with the Nine of Cups reversed. But the Seven of Wands is about being open and vulnerable. So it kind of looks like here, Sagittarius, this person wanted to be open and vulnerable to take that leap of faith with the Fool energy. But uh, they didn't have the power, the strength, or the courage to do it. Could have been circumstances they were in, maybe a lot of conf conflict or conflicting situation around them that they were struggling through in some sort of way that was really holding them back to take that leap of faith um, as well. And definitely not a happy time. Not a happy time. But we do see, you know, I want to be open and vulnerable and take that leap of faith, but something here I feel was holding them back. And it wasn't a good energy. It wasn't a happy energy either. Hmm, interesting. All right, so we have here Aries, Aquarius showing up. I mean, the fool usually is taking that leap of faith. A new beginning, fresh, clean slate, energetic reset, no baggage. But we see the baggage around it, so 
All right. But they still, they definitely did feel the connection to you, which is that something was holding them back or they felt held back. Let's see. Let's see why, why were they in this energy? Like what was going on with this person for Sagittarius that we need to know about? What was going on with Sagittarius that we need to know about? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Way too many. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess. All right, there's probably a lot of things you don't know. The High Priestess. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe this person was in another committed situation. High Priestess. So maybe they didn't tell you a lot about it. I don't think that you didn't know, but Eight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups. Wow. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Well, this person could have been in another situation. They were so if they were in another situation, they were very, very, very tempted by you, Sagittarius, and wanted to reach out, wanted to pursue you, even if because the Ten of Pentacles can be about marriage commitment, that kind of thing. High Priestess. So I don't know if they did or didn't tell you that they were in another situation, or there's a lot about it you didn't know. But I see this person, like, Knight of Pentacles is very fast. That turns to the fastest knight, which is the Knight of Swords, out of the blue, out of nowhere, taking action. There's the feelings, the love. But somebody not single here. Oh, boy. We have Pisces uh, showing up here in Taurus. Did this person take action towards you? It wanted to get to know you romantically and then you found out they were in another situation or then they kind of told you uh, it could be it could be many things it could be that they wanted to but they didn't because they're in another situation or they were tempted to do it and didn't um but i don't know let's see definitely a lot of temptation here would you have desire and I do see this person still desiring to uh, reach out, connect with you. And maybe clear things up. I have got that too with the throat chakra. All right, Sag. So what else do we... Oh my goodness. What else do we need to know about this for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? Let's see. Five of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Swords, Sun Reversed, Hermit Reversed, mm, I don't know here, Sag, Moon, Six of Pentacles, it's like this person, oh my god, they're not in a happy situation, but they're not single either, we got the Hermit Reversed, when I get that upright, that is a very singular energy for me. Five of Pentacles reverse. So this person could have been really in a situation, like I said, it could be another commitment or kind of marriage where they were neglected, they were didn't get the attention, and probably not a happy energy, but also stuck in that energy. I don't see this person like making the decision to get out of that. And you know, you could have been a source of um a distraction for this person but the moon is fear things we can't see six of pentacles hoping for balance and reciprocation from you even though they weren't the, a lot of things you probably didn't know with the sun reversed or they didn't tell you not a happy energy either this person wasn't in a happy situation yeah i don't see them doing anything to get out of it and you were a form of distraction a temptation Definitely they could have led you on or they wanted to pursue this just for the distraction. But I mean, we do have that Ace of Cups there. So I definitely feel like this person did have some feelings too. But whether or not they're actually going to get out of their situation to pursue you, I mean, that could very well happen. But we have Leo, Virgo, Pisces. Hmm. All right. Let's get more about this. You know, the path unknown with the moon, things we can't see, it can be fear, uh, sometimes secrets. 
it's like I'm going to take this leap, leap of faith towards Sagittarius even though I shouldn't or I'm not supposed to. I'm not in the right energy to do that. But yeah, I'm not happy. And yeah, I'm develop, developing feelings and attraction here for Sag. So I'm going to, you know, kind of see if there will be any sort of reciprocation. See what could happen. So maybe they want to know if you would reciprocate or you feel the same or something could happen between you before they actually get out of their situation. But if they're not happy, either way, they should get out anyway, right? Even if they're single after. I mean, why stay in an unhappy situation, right? All right, we got the Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Kind of assessing, analyzing, waiting, but yet wanting to manifest something here. A lot of uncertainty on their part with the Four of Cups. And then we have the Two of Wands. Like, if I leave my situation behind me, is this opportunity going to be here to move forward? So I kind of want to know that before I get out of my situation. That's kind of what I feel here. It's actually happening. They may actually give you this offer. Um, three swords reversed. I don't think they would be disappointed if they left their situation. So why aren't they just doing it? We have the three swords reversed. Maybe it's a form of security, a habit. I don't know. But if they're not happy, they should just get out. Just get out, you know. Don't rely on the promise of something new to give you the motivation to get out of something you're not happy in. You should do it on your own. And I kind of feel like that's what this person's energy is. It's like they want to know this is going to be the promise of this new path before they let go of the old path. If that makes sense. A lot of assessing, analyzing here, and not taking any action on their part in their own life, but yet, okay, I'm looking towards the future. What can manifest? I don't know, Four of Cups. I'm unsure about leaving this path before I know there's a new path ahead of me. And the Page of Pentacles, they may actually um, make this offer or uh, the proposal. Right away when I got this card, I thought of proposal and I thought of the movie Indecent Proposal. Not that it's going to be that kind of offer. I don't mean that, but that's kind of in the realm I was feeling. Not that kind of indecent proposal, but the proposal of, all right, could we have something here in the future? Because I'll leave my situation if we if there is. But if not, well, I guess I'll just stay stuck in my situation. That's kind of crappy if you ask me, but... We do have Gemini, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right. Sag. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we need to know regarding this. What else do we need to know? If it's resonating so far, please do like, comment, all the good things. Greatly, greatly appreciated. So I'm going to pull one more row with clarifiers, and then we'll pull some messages from Spirit. See what else you need to know. What else do we need to know here for Sag? What else do we need to know? Let's see. All right. My cat's trying to get out. I think he can do it. There he goes. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Devil in reverse. Is, that's good. I like that. Page of Cups. There's a romantic proposal here. King of Cups reverse. Being very open and vulnerable. Because the King of Cups upright can be someone very close off. Does it show a lot of affection, emotion? But the King of Cups can be a little over emotional, that kind of energy. So let's see. King of Swords? That could be somebody actually divorced, speaking with truth and clarity. Eight of Cups. So distance and sadness here. And the Five of Cups. More sadness. So I do feel like here, you know, it could even be. I, f I do feel like this person, you know, wants to get out of their toxic situation and they're going to romantically propose this to you. Look, you know, I'm going to be very open and honest with you. I have a lot of feelings for you, desire, passion, chemistry. And I really want to get out of my situation, but I also want to know that this path forward can be with you as well. Eight of cups, five of cups. So it could be distance, um, sadness here too. So interesting. I don't, I don't think they're happy in their situation, but I also feel like 
they're going to present this to you. Like, I just want to honor my situation, but I also want to know we have a future together. Capricorn, Pisces, Pisces, uh, Gemini. Let's see what else. Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion, illusion regarding their situation, the connection to you. Eight of Swords. I'm getting a glare here from the sun. Um, Eight of Swords reverse. So they need to get out of their monkey mind, their head. Just do what they need to do, right? Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work so they may do that. Six of Cups reverse. Be done with the past. You know, you're not happy. Just leave it. Yeah, especially if it's a marriage or a commitment for a wand here. King of Wands. I mean, that could be you, Sag, for me, it's a Leo, but it could be you. You know, getting the courage, the strength, the bravery to do what they need to do and take the lead. And maybe make positive movement forward here as well. So I still think they want to know, you know, sort of truth here. I'll be very open and honest with you. You know, I want to leave my situation, but I also want to know if there's a future for something to happen with us. Six of Swords reverse, but then... I don't know. It's still feels up in the air with this person. Like when they talk to you, they may be very determined they're doing it. But if they don't get the kind of response from you they're hoping for, they may not get out of their situation. Because we do have um, the Six of Swords reversed. Hold on. Right, I need to cough. And I didn't want to cough in the <laughs> microphone. And that could also be being stuck or, you know, return of this person. Oh, let's see. The world reversed. So there's definitely a big stuck energy here. Page of Wands reversed. You may not be excited about this offer, but they're going to be very blunt and honest. Page of Swords and maybe checking out your social media. Temperance reversed. That's not a great energy either. Judgment Five of Swords. So some of you may not like this offer they're making. Uh, and it's up, definitely going to be up to you what you do with this. That's definitely what I feel, especially with the sort of truth here. I think they're going to be honest and upfront, but it's going to be your choice, you know. Anyway, let's see. We are on the tail end of Libra season here. Um, although I don't see any, uh, we do see the fool. The fool can be right now. The fool has a zero time frame for me, which kind of gives me like. <clears throat> Could be something right now. All right, Sag. So everything you need to know is below. We're going to get some of these messages from Spirit. See what else you need to know. Everything you do need to know is down below in the description box as well as my website. So let's see. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now is the time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So they're hoping that you're going to receive them with their offer or receive their offer. A father's love. They could be a single parent or you could be a father's love for his son or daughter. Never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether... Your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. All right, let's see what else here. Reach out. Yeah, so they're going to reach out. Like I said, we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we are offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. But I just feel like this person is going to reach out. It's up to you what you do with this, Sag. New beginning. So there could be the new beginning. If this is what you want, then this could be what's going to happen here. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. So, yeah, Satch, that's what I have. So, ultimately, it's going to be up to you what you do with this. Um, they want to know, if I leave my situation, is there a new beginning or is there a beginning or path for us down the road? That's what I see. 
Anyway, Satch, that's what I have for you. Um, I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.